Very few cars have ever been considered truly classless. The VW Golf is one. The original Mini is another. BMW's 3 Series is steadily becoming one, but that's a little way off just yet. I have a contender for another one. This, the Skoda Octavia. But hear me out, I do have a fairly good argument. Since the VW Group took Skoda under its giant wing in 1991, then fully bought it in 2000, the cars falling out of the Czech Republic have been pretty good. Well, very good, actually. The engine's in the right place, bits don't fall off, and that's because they're all VWs underneath, which means this Octavia is actually a Golf. There's one car that really stands out in the lineup, though, the Octavia VRS. In one form or another, it's been around since 2001. The current generation will cease production after four years in the limelight, and it'll be missed. In 2011, the VRS brand turned 10. And, well, while Skoda could have had a party with some pointy hats and maybe streamers and maybe a flaccid-looking cake, they gave themselves a present that they're not soon going to forget. This is Skoda's VRS Prezi to itself. It's a Bonneville Salt Flats car. You see, what they did was they took the engine out of a petrol Octavia VRS, changed the turbo for one roughly the size of a small African nation, did a few uh, racy modifications, so roll cage and the like, then put it on a boat and sent it to somewhere called Bonneville in Utah. Bonneville has lots of salt, and once a year for Speed Week, hundreds of petrol heads get together to see just how fast they can go. It managed to hit 227.080 miles an hour, a new world record for a two-litre turbocharged production car. 227.080 is the the land speed record we hold. For two, two litre production car? Right? Yeah, two litre production car, supercharged. So all the bodywork has to remain standard. Yep. Uh, all the windows have to be in. You can't do any aerodynamic work other than what the rules state is so necessary. Duct tape. So you can't do that. You can't do you duct tape. You can't gap the lines. You can't add any fins, any uh, splitters. Yep. So it's got to be original silhouette of the vehicle. It's good for over 800 brake horsepower. That's nearly Veyron territory, and it's a Skoda. The car your older sister won't touch because she doesn't like the name. Skoda has, for some reason, let us drive it at Bruntingthorpe Proving Ground. Now, we're told we can get about 150 miles an hour out of it, but I reckon we can do a little better than that. This one will go faster. Yeah. This one will go faster. We spent, if we spent more time on a dyno, awesome. it's yeah. geared for over 250 mile an hour, so. I reckon we could get in the 240s. How much do you reckon we're going to do down here? Uh, I reckon you get up to 150, 160 before you run out of road. I like the sound of that. The worst happens, the parachute will be live. Which is... The handbrake down beside you. That's the parachute. Yeah, so all you've got to do is pull that and a parachute will come out the back. The temptation now I know. is so great. Can we do it? Yeah, on the last run, you know, Yes! <laughs> right. Okay. I'm about to try and do 150 miles an hour in a Skoda Octavia. And fourth, go! Come on! Put it's flat to the floor. 80, oh hello, we're weaving. 90. 120 odd, oh, that does not feel good. 130 odd. 130. I wasn't nailing it. That was weaving, that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Next run, I'm going to have to go for it like a boss, because I want to see 150 on that. Oh dear! Cab drivers of Britain, get yourself a VRS, fiddle with the engine a bit, put a Garrett turbo on it, run about 600 at 50 degrees in the skull in the, in the heat and a hill, and then you, you, wow, just yeah, oh. Right, going. Let's make some noise! Let's make a lot of noise! This is Honest 
Tennessee. Brilliant. Every Skoda Octavia VRS needs this amount of power. Keep it going. 144, 147, 149, 150. Cool, I can now die happy. <laughs> Let's get ready for the lever. Three, two, one, go. The lever didn't deploy. I just ripped the lever off. Okay. That's not good. There's no parachute. That didn't go well. I, I sustained an injury while, while pulling the chute on a land speed record car that failed. So I'm happy. Come on, get, you, you saved my life. Oh. Oh. You can't use this on the film. <laughs> Suffice to say, the Bonneville car is utterly, utterly brilliant. Nothing can quite prepare you for that kind of speed, especially in what some would consider to be the world's fastest taxi. I wonder what Skoda will be doing to celebrate the 20th anniversary of VRS. 300 miles now, maybe? Or maybe space? <laughs>